Assalamu alaikum. This is Andre with the best tech. In this tutorial, we're going to master how to create a full stack multi platform shopping app with React Native, Node.js, and MongoDB. To facilitate both beginners and advanced developers, we are going to start from scratch with a slower pace and pick up the pace as we progress. Our primary goals are to explore React Native, create a Node.js server for our application, and separate our Stripe payment server from our application server, giving us room to reuse the server in any application that we might develop in the near future. We're going to host our payment server on Railway to have one URL for our Stripe hooks. We're also going to explore other technologies like async storage, advanced MongoDB concept, and master MongoDB search indices. Without wasting much time, let's dive in and introduce the main features of our end product. So right now, let's go ahead and introduce the main features of our application. So this is what our application looks like. Right on top, we have our location and we have our cart. This location is a default location. If a user is not signed in, then this location is shown on the front page. And if you press on the cart button and you're not logged in, then you're redirected to the login page. We can press back and continue navigating through our application. Right below that, we have our title. And we have our search. We have these beautiful sliders which changes to the next index each and every three seconds. Right at the bottom, we have our, our products. So we can scroll through and we can view all the products that we have. Right on top here, we have an animated title which is moving from the left to the right. So let's go ahead and introduce our search page. So if we click on search, we are redirected to the search page. And if we type a location of the product, then the results are rendered on our UI. So we can be able to search a product using the supplier title or any word in the description. So if we click on the product, then we are prompted to our product details page. In our product details page, we have counter whereby we can increase the number of items that we want to add to our cart. So let's go ahead and see our profile page. This is what our profile page looks like for a user who is not logged in. So we can go ahead and try to log in and then explore more of the features of our application. So if you press on login, we are redirected to the login page. For now, we don't have an account, so we have to go ahead and register an account. So I'm going to press register. So we have provided a name. So I'm just going to give a random name. We have to provide a location. So I'm just going to say Hangzhou, China. And we have to provide a password. So our password, we have the ability to hide and show our password. So if we press on hide, then our password is all secure and if we press on show then we can see our password so let's go ahead and sign up if you press sign up then we are prompted back to the login screen in our login screen we have to input the email that we've just used in our our registration and we have to input our password so here if the application is not ready let's say the backend is not ready this message is shown you can press ok then you can retry so now we are, we've successfully logged in into our account. Our location has changed. And if we press on, on our cart, then we are redirected to our cart this time since we are logged in. So let's go ahead and view our profile page, what it looks like when a user is logged in. So if a user is logged in, this is what our profile looks like. So we have favorites, orders, cart, clear cache, delete account, and log out. So let's start by visiting our favorites. In our favorites, we don't have anything yet. So let's go to our products. If we go to a product, open a product and add it to our favorites. Then go back to our favorites to view our favorites. Then the product that we just added is in our favorites page. So we can be able to delete the product. If we revisit our favorites, we don't have products anymore. So let's go ahead and add a product to our carts. So to add a product, we just have to press. So if we go back to our carts, then that product should show up here. And right here, we have the ability to also delete that product from our cart. So if we press delete, then that product is gone from our cart. 
and let's go ahead and see how we can make a payment. So for payments, we're using Stripe. So if you press on buy now, then we are prompted to a Stripe page whereby we are supposed to input our details and complete the purchasing process. So this is our product. We have to put an email. in our in our application so our order has been processed successfully so let's go back visit our orders that product should appear in our orders and our payment status is paid since we've successfully paid and our delivery is pending so here we can be able to clear the cash let's say we have products in our in our favorites and we just want to clear everything we just don't want to delete product one by one so let's add a product let's add two if we go back view our products we have two products instead of deleting them one by one we can just come here and clear cash if we clear our cash visit our products in our favorites there's nothing and we also have the ability to to log out so if we log out of an account then we are prompted back to our home screen our location has changed if we go back to the page, we are prompted back to the login page. And if you press back, this is the page that we see. So all the data that we are storing in our local storage is being stored with unique IDs. So multiple users can log in with same phone, but they can get their data as they left.